Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and as promised we've got a double brick hauler clock. Yep, two packages from bricklink.com to get through the August backlog. Let's get going. Good, good. Well, before we get into those, I just wanted to say, first of all, I have received a PO Box package, which I'll be doing uh, when I get a couple more, just to make best use of time. Uh, but I've also been buying oh, ho, 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 Marvel Series 2 minifigures, uh, but only a very few. In fact, just the X-Men ones. Uh, we've got Wolverine there with the wonderful sort of smashed up Sentinel head. Absolutely adore him. Uh, Storm. Looking brilliant. Uh, this is one of the best minifigs I've seen for absolutely ages. Absolutely everything about it is perfect. Uh, that cloak is just giving so much motion and I can't wait to use her. Though exactly where I'm going to use any of these with their skin tones, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, not so much a problem with the blue skin tone of Beast, who'd be blue wherever he was. Uh, but I love his X-Man mug. Uh, and his little uh, setup there for doing some science experiments with. So yeah, that's absolutely great. Uh, I just love X-Men, which is the reason why I just picked up those three. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to use them. I was, I was sort of considering doing my whole Ninjago area with skin tones, uh, because I've got all the skin uh, toned heads and arms and, and uh, hands and all the rest of it from all the other series where I've taken them off to make them all yellow for my city. Uh, so I could actually make... Uh, the opposite the case in that place uh, and have them all you know pink brown and all the rest of it so yeah have to let me know what you think about that uh, but either way I'm not sure we really want to have the x-men buzzing around a sort of future dystopia sort of ninjago scene anyway but anyway I could just make a display couldn't I and enjoy these wonderful figures so I'm going to keep them as my backdrop uh, actually I did get one more uh, that I hadn't even heard of personally because I'm not massively into Marvel uh, and that was Kate Bishop uh, because Mrs Hood wanted that character and you'll see it's missing I've just been left with uh, the dog for my dog collection who's doing a very crafty wink I quite like that <laughs> he looks like he's cheekily saying something. Hey, what do you think of that? Uh, wink, wink. Uh, and a pizza box with hit the spot pizza. So I've kept those two bits and given Mrs. Hood uh, the Kate figure for her sort of uh, superhero women uh, collection. Uh, and it turns out, well, she kind of spoilt my idea of the winking dog who was up to no good and sort of uh, <laughs> getting away with it with a cheeky wink uh, by telling me that it was uh, Lucky the dog who's actually blind or, well, blind one eye anyway. Uh, so that is a much less funny reason for him to be uh, having that winky eye. So I'm going to say this dog has got two eyes and can wink. I'm not sure real dogs can. Uh, and maybe he's done something very cheeky and naughty and that's why he's winking at us. <laughs> so that's my backstory for him. So uh, lucky the dog can join my uh, jamboree of dogs. Cool. Right. Well, let's get on with these packages then. I'll get into the first one here which I've partially sabotaged so I can open it nice and quickly. And um, you'll soon get the theme for both of these packages. Oh, let me crack this open. Oh, wow, that's very neat indeed. There we go, neatly packaged. Get rid of the box and get rid of the bubble wrap. Oh, because the theme is... Da, 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 X-Men, yes, <laughs> even more X-Men. So basically, when I saw these were coming out and I got quite excited about uh, having them, I sort of looked into the back catalogue to see who else was available. Uh, and Cyclops, probably nobody's favourite, uh, is one of them, uh, which was part of set uh, 76022, X-Men versus the Sentinel from 2014. Uh, but then when I looked further into it, I saw that there were very, very few of these available in the world because, well, I guess they're either very popular for collectors or um, that set wasn't very popular. Uh, so I think I got pretty much the last one of these for a reasonable price in the UK. And even this one, they said had hairline fractures under the arms. And, well, that's very, very uh, generous, I'd say. I think there's the tiniest bit there. Maybe somebody's bothered about that. Maybe. Oh, that just detracts from it. Not at all in my mind. So that is perfect. Fantastic. So there we go. There's a Cyclops figure. I just need to get a great big uh, trans red piece to come out of his face so he can be firing a laser at someone so he can immediately join the crew of X-Men. And yes, he looks absolutely great. 
So uh, after doing that, I basically decided, as always, to get as many parts for as many different projects as I could that I've been designing over the break, over August. <coughs> One more X-Men part first from the same set, just the uh, Magneto helmet. They didn't have the Magneto minifigure, so I might just be buying that in parts over the coming weeks, who knows. Uh, but that's really good. Uh, worst case scenario, if I get a whole figure later, I'll use this down the Comic-Con and somebody can be wearing it. Uh, you never know. Uh, it doesn't matter having two in one city. In fact, these guys probably won't even be in the city because of that skin tone thing. So, yeah, we could even have a yellow Magneto going around the city as well. Yeah, that sounds best of both worlds. Let's have two of them. Uh, on to the stickers, shall we? Been nicely protected by the vendor. Thanks very much for that. Always good when they use a piece of cardboard to keep it flat. And we have got this one with fresh, open and be happy, uh, which you'll probably recognize from the recent grocery store set, 60347, uh, which is the one where they copied uh, pretty much my supermarket. Well, at least in two areas anyway, around the till and out the front. Uh, so there's some number plates for a future vehicle that I'll be able to use. That sign, I was thinking of using that with the Peapod person uh, that's the series minifigure uh, near the farm. And then this can just be an advert somewhere. It was only pennies, so I thought I'd grab that. Then this one is absolutely great. Uh, it's from the set 8899 Gator Swamp from 2010, which is a World Races set. And <laughs> that set just looks really cool, if you ask me. Two kind of uh, swamp uh, boats with floating mines and rockets on the front and gators and a fuel stop and big fans and little fans and big engines and absolutely everything. I love it. Uh, so I'm in two minds to actually try and recreate that set using this uh, perfect sticker sheet or just to use these stickers around my city, decorating some boats with these flames and these sort of shark faces, uh, that skull and flames on the front. Could be a flying car in my Ninjago city sort of future dystopia thing and all sorts of dials and engine bits and all the rest of it as well as this quite attractive fuel price sort of uh, screen or sign I suppose and then some hazard stripes and all sorts I mean that is just an amazing sticker sheet if you ask me uh, so I wasn't uh, trying to find this or anything but at 70p when I found it I thought yep gone then I'll definitely have one of those so the time to buy it is when you see it Okay, what else have we got? So I'm going to try and motor on just so we don't spend too long going through absolutely every piece. Oh wow, these are pristine pieces. I must say everything's gleaming brand new. So we've got lots of uh, different pieces for different projects. I'm not going to go through all of those, but I've got a couple of pipes, probably from a recent stunt set that will go uh, under the sea. And these two as well to support plant pieces and so on. You can always bend those into an interesting shape before attaching them. And some purple stem pieces. Uh, which will make the inside of some coral, or even just coral on its own. It looks quite fantastic in that dark purple colour on its own. Uh, I got one of these panels. I think I'll be getting some more in a future haul uh, to basically pad out the botanical garden set, the friend set. Um, I'm going to get two of those in due course. I haven't done it yet. I'm kind of <laughs> cheap, <laughs> so I'm waiting for them to be on discount. But they just don't seem to be getting anywhere near that so far. But eventually, I think I'll be getting two of those to combine it to make it um, a four-sided building. Because, as you'll probably know, it's, um, you know, only got two sides. Uh, it's backless, basically. And I oh, don't think I want to do it against the wall. Oh, I can't get into that. I'm going to have to... I think they've sellotape reinforced it. Either that or I'm a wimp. <laughs> Let's try and get into this. So a massive mixed bag here. And I can see a few pieces that are very interesting that have now vanished. Well, there's one that's mildly interesting. It's another one of those ATM screens. Uh, my favourite one that I'm collecting from 60233, the donut shop opening set from 2019, where it's on the side of the donut shop. Very nice. I think last time I got one of these, I said I probably had enough of them, but I'm going to say it again. I've probably got enough of those now. Uh, there's a couple of recycling symbols that I use as the top of my recycling bins. So I have it kind of like that, and then the green square 2x2x2 two by two by two container with a smaller recycling sign on the side. Uh, these are from the 70805 Trash Chomper from 2014 from a Lego movie with Grant and Dan, the uh, bin men, and uh, 
Chef Gordon Zola. <laughs> Always like that. I really do think those uh, Lego movie sets were some of the best we had. I mean, I never built that um, uh, trash chomper into the uh, recycling vehicle uh, because I didn't really need to. I already had one that was an official Lego set, but it's just a way you could do that with all of those uh, sets, the double sort of uh, build. They're all two-in-ones, effectively. I thought that was really good. Uh, there's another piece from that X-Man set. Now, if I did want to make the great big um, ship, I'm trying to think what it's actually called in the thing, but uh, yeah, the flying vehicle anyway, I could probably do that with this cockpit. So I thought I'd get it for the stickers just in case I decided to, but I'm not committed to that because as I say, I don't know where these are going. And if they're just going on a shelf or somewhere to enjoy looking at, then I won't have room for that. But anyway, I've got it because it was a few pennies. Uh, another stickered piece, though I didn't want it for the stickers, was just this. I want this for another one of those doors in my deep sea cabinet to the base or a lower part of the base. Uh, so this one's from 76050, uh, Crossbones Hazard Heist from 2016, uh, set from the COVID era, clearly, with them all socially distancing there in that picture. Uh, so maybe I'll just take that little bit of scratch off and use it somewhere else. Or maybe I'll leave it on. It's just a bit of damage under the sea from where a shark's been chomping on it or something like that. Uh, lots of pieces for train build that I'm not going to tell you too much about. We've got some lovely TV6 Plus panels here. Uh, these are from that same uh, donut shop opening set that we uh, mentioned earlier from the side of the van. And these are great because they're really big and vivid. So these can be adverts, or I may at some point, maybe, this is so not progressed, but on the back burner somewhere, I always said I might do a TV station. It was about when the Daily Bugle came out, and I thought, oh, do I want a, uh, a journalist and a TV station? Because it's kind of a sort of similar uh, idea. But anyway, if I do, and when I do, I'll have lots of TV6 Plus stickers. I've already got loads of the uh, 2 by 2 tile that came in a different set, and... Yeah, these will make a great backdrop. So you can imagine a newsreader maybe flanked by these sort of either side, like he's on TV6 Plus News. Yeah, so that would be great. Yeah, that's actually enthused me to do that because obviously we've got the van in Brick Nottingham uh, on Old Market Square taking pictures. Now, these are quite interesting. Oh, they're a little bit damaged. I think they mentioned that. But, um, yeah, have I got more than two? Oh, yeah, I've got two that way and two that way. When I first saw these, I thought they were from the um, old diesel shunter that I did uh, in a different way. You know, that 7760 diesel shunter from 1980. Uh, but they aren't. Uh, they were on black bricks, I think. Uh, this is actually from the 6653 highway maintenance truck from 1982. Uh, but I reckon I'd probably be able to use these on a train build. And then the fact that they've been a bit smashed around doesn't really matter because, well, trains don't get treated that well so whether these will go on an existing train as the sort of headlights on all four corners i suppose or uh, whether they'll inspire a brand new train build i don't really know yet in fact i'm not sure they've been oh no they probably have been put on right because that is facing a different direction to that and that's facing a different direction to that in fact so they're perfect aren't they you know we've got front and back left and right oh brilliant yeah, great. So, uh, yeah, so that's them. Ideas for using them. I'm just wondering if the uh, Hammerhead uses these headlight bricks. I don't think it does because they could go on that. That is blue. Uh, so that's them. Uh, then this vendor had loads and loads of tiles, both 2 by 3s and 2 by 4s with relatively random stickers on them. And I don't know what that's from. And it's not very interesting either. And it's even damaged. Uh, but they were for nothing. They were for like sort of 2p or 5p or 6p. And I thought, well, the piece underneath is worth that. And I'll be using loads of signs and adverts around my city in due course. So I'll be pulling off that sticker and uh, using the piece underneath. Now, this one I had bought for the same reason, this red 2x4 tile. But now I look at it, I might actually use this. Because this is the sort of logo of Jestro, who is one of the evil characters in... Um, Nexo Knights, of course, and this came in set 70316, Jestro's Evil Mobile uh, from 2016. Very creative name there, but also a very awesome set. <laughs> I mean, that set is pretty much 100% cool, if you ask me, uh, with a lava monster on the front. Uh, Lance's sort of mech horse type thing at the side there. Jestro himself with the Book of Monsters 
and that huge machine so colorful with this as the flag at the very top. So if I'm going to have a Gestro minifigure in my uh, castle scene, maybe a sort of an evil jester doing naughty tricks, <laughs> then maybe he wants his own banner. I don't know. So I think I'll wait before pulling that off for the piece underneath and see if I can use it. It's quite a good sort of uh, Harlequin type sort of mask type uh, logo he's got there. Very good. Uh, the rest of this seems to just be um, plates and parts for builds. I think it's all specific rather than sort of general buying for sort of under the sea or something. Although having said that, I think these are just for grabbing stuff under the sea, sort of uh, arms in uh, olive uh, green. Oh, there's some of those useless tiles. I don't know what they're from or what they're uh, what I could use them for. So I think I'll just pull them off of the tiles underneath. Uh, oh yeah, there's one. Although that one's got an advert. I might be able to salvage that sticker and use that somewhere useful. Motul. Yeah, maybe that's sort of a motor racing oil or something like that. What else have we got? There's an engine pattern. Yeah, I'll probably try and keep that one as well, actually. Yeah, so there's a few quite good ones. That's a bit rubbish. In fact, if they'll come off well, I can save all of them just in case one day I want to use them. But um, yeah, Getting these 2x4 tiles for a few pennies each is a really good deal. Oh, and the crossbones. Oh, that must be from that same uh, uh, crossbones hazard heist set. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, and there's even a dark bluish grey one. And I uh, just saw another part I wanted to show you. There we go. It's the other sticker from the uh, X-Men vs. The Sentinel set we looked at earlier with the Sentinel face on it saying, Warning! because they're great big <laughs> mechs, aren't they? Very powerful indeed. And after all the mutants, so that is really good condition. Glad to get that. So if I do build that ship, uh, I'll have absolutely everything I need. Oh, there's another one. FF1 Degrees FW with the... Is that the Avengers symbol or something like that? Showing my lack of knowledge again. Uh, 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 anything else in there? Nope. That's all just good stuff for builds. And then... In this package, we've got a few more bricks that look just about as interesting. Oh no, we've got this one. Now this is 2x6 tile with some Japanese characters on it. And I know they're Japanese, though I don't know which way up they are. Now I'm going to guess this way. Uh, and that's because they're from the art set, uh, 31208. Hakusai's The Great Wave from 2023, which is another one of those sort of 3D kind of art pictures. Uh, and... Uh, I saw recently, I think it got through the qualifying phase for Lego Ideas, there was um, Monk's The Scream as well, you know, that uh, picture of the man screaming, and I think that looks really good. I mean, we obviously had the recent uh, Van Gogh one, uh, so yeah, there are quite a few out now. I'm not tempted to buy them as such, though I do appreciate them, I do think they're very clever. So uh, yeah, if I was going to get one, I think I'd get The Scream. Because that is very good. So that is for my Ninjago City. I, I'm kind of starting. Now, now I can admit it. I have been on past hauls, if you can remember, been buying just random pieces with stickers on with uh, sort of Asian characters on. Um, and that's because I'm going to be using them as adverts all around my Ninjago City. So this is a really big one. Uh, and that will just sort of decorate it all in really big, you know, advert pieces. Uh, then here's another really interesting tile, 2 by 2 round one this time, which is kind of a stack of pancakes with a knob of butter and some strawberries on and maple syrup. And that, unsurprisingly, is from the set Pancake Shop, set 41753 from 2023. Uh, it's unique to that set, uh, friend set, uh, with, uh, ooh, is that a rabbit queuing up for the pancakes? Oh no, he's got a carrot there. I think that'd be better for a rabbit to eat. Uh, but it's got a nice sort of uh, mixer build at the back right there uh, for sort of mixing the batter. That's quite a clever build. It looks like you can turn it on the top and even lift it up. So, yeah, good play feature. I like it. Uh, yeah, so I just had to get that. Don't know where I'm going to use that. I could just stick them in my uh, existing diner, but then they'll be completely hidden. But um, anyway, I thought I'd best have one for the old collection, trying to get absolutely every different <laughs> interesting tile possible. Very much like that. Uh, and then I managed to get three of these big white ball joints, uh, which I'll be using to hopefully mount more aircraft to my walls and ceiling, uh, because the grey ones will show up a bit. And the idea is that this white one will blend in more with my 
uh, light colored walls when I've sort of attached this to the wall so I can get a jaunty angle for the plane that is then attached to this uh, by the wing via the sort of socket half of one of these. So that's the plan with them and they're relatively hard to get in white. So yeah, very good to get those as well. So first package done, looking really good. I'm just gonna have a quick tidy up uh, and then we'll get on with package number two. Actually, another set that uh, these tiles came off was actually the first order snow speeder 75100 from uh, 2015, uh, which in my mind looks exactly the same as a Warhammer 40k land speeder. Uh, see what you think there. Uh, but anyway, yeah, they might be useful for sort of panel lines on some future build as well. Right into package number two, a bit smaller this time, but uh, just as vital. And uh, our X-Man theme continues actually with this because, duh, 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 let's get in the packaging. We have got, ooh, golly. Ah, get rid of all the paperwork as well. All very complicated, there we go. We've got more X-Men stuff in here, believe it or not. Yes, oh, I'm gonna have to build it though. We have got the Sentinel, <laughs> which is actually the big sort of robot thing from that uh, set 76022, X-Men and the versus the Sentinel indeed, uh, from 2014. So I'm going to be able to build him. And the most important bits in this are these two, which have got their own separate bag, which is very nice. Uh, and that, is the breastplate, let's just rip into this one, too small to reuse, and the head. And what I thought I might do is actually get two Sentinels, because there were quite a few after the X-Men. Wow, that is absolutely pristine condition, isn't it? So there's the sort of breastplate, and there is the head. I thought I'd get a second one that might be missing a head, yeah? And then that one can be uh, attacked by a <laughs> Wolverine with the uh, head yeah, severed off. So one can have a slightly sort of pinkier head and the other one a slightly purplier head. So yeah, I think that's a really good idea. Uh, and the reason for the uh, urgency on this was it seems these are getting bought up. I don't think I'm the only one with the idea of buying up a Cyclops and uh, Sentinels uh, to make their X-Man collection complete. So anyway, yeah, I think I'll build that in a minute. Uh, so what else have we got in this bag? Well, straight away leaping out of these wonderful red panels. Ah, now I thought I might have to move one of these stickers using my patented hot tea technique. And I think I'm right. That one's not too bad, actually. Central in both directions. Um, but this one seems to be a bit too high and a bit too to the left. Uh, but they are a nice pair. Uh, they came on the delivery van, set 6624 from 1983, which is a very cute little set. I could almost uh, rebuild that because it is very cute indeed, isn't it? Uh, it was a bit of a punt getting these really old pieces because sometimes the stickers don't move that well just because they're so old. I'll heat them up really well uh, to give me the best chance of it. But also because the ca the uh, catalogue pictures of these on Bricklink uh, are the ones they show you when you sort of look at it uh, on there. Uh, the, the stickers are incredibly badly applied and they're all sort of right at the top at a weird angle and stuff. And whenever I've seen them in people's stores, I always look at that and think, oh, and it just puts me off, <laughs> even though it's not a picture of the actual one I'll be buying. So um, yeah, it's taken me a long time to get some of these, but I was happy to risk it because these were 35p each, which isn't too bad given just buying that whole set which hasn't got very many amazing pieces in, uh, will probably set you back at least £10. So, uh, yeah, in fact, uh, Russ's uh, gift package where he had all those 80s pieces has probably got all the other pieces I need to build that uh, delivery truck. So uh, we'll have a go at doing that as well, uh, and I'll give you an update on how the sticker move goes. Uh, then we've got some slopes, just boring ones for uh, under the sea. Now, this is very interesting. This is basically a minifigure uh, bodywear sort of breathing apparatus. So you put on the belt bit, hopefully you can see it well enough in the black uh, around the waist. Then we've got the tank on the back and then this bit sort of hooks over the neck and you put the minifigure head in the top of it. So he's breathing into it. And these have been on all sorts of Ninjago C-band sets quite recently. I hadn't discovered it myself until very recently, but it looks very cool indeed. So I just thought I'd get one of those. Uh, for diversity in my cabinet or maybe even uh, at the quayside of the marina or something like that in my city. Uh, so this came with all sorts of sets like 80049, Dragon of the East Palace from 2023. 
uh, which is actually a Monkey Kid set, uh, which actually presents quite a problem, that set, because <laughs> now I need the Shrimp Soldiers from that, uh, the Crab Generals from that, and there's a new set of the um, Marine Life accessories, you know, the ones from Friends with the clams and the little fish and all the rest of it, uh, in bright light orange. So technically I need a whole set of those. Hopefully they'll become available on Lego Bricks and Pieces. Uh, but that's a really nice uh, piece, actually. It's got, oh, it's got space for a sword in it diagonally as well. Just what you need underwater, a great big samurai sword. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, some old grey, hopefully. That looks quite like light, light bluish grey to me. I'm not sure that is actually right. But anyway, I wanted some old grey uh, one by one round bricks. Yeah, that doesn't look right to me. That's also... No, I don't think that's right. Anyway, so I'll put those back on the list. I'm going to need some of these for my castle build, essentially. Uh, well, correct ones, anyway. Uh, more bits and bobs, ladder pieces and so on. This is interesting. It's one of the Monster Fighters sort of crystals, and this one is the one with a howling wolf in front of the moon in trans-neon orange. Uh, that only came in 9463. Uh, the Werewolf from 2012. Oh, no, it didn't. It also came in the Vampire Castle, didn't it? Uh, but anyway, I've sort of started collecting those for some bizarre reason. And, um, yeah, it's nice to have it. It's good condition. Very nice indeed. So, happy with that. Gold handlebars. Much harder to get than you'd expect, actually. Uh, they're for my Wonder Woman bike. I still need the white sort of inner bit of that. I've got the gold wheels and the outside bit now. Probably should have just bought it all in one go. Hey-ho! Uh, there's another interesting old stickered piece, just very cheap, uh, one by two red brick from uh, 7938, the passenger train from 2010, uh, just with that train logo on, just for the price it was, I thought I'd buy it in case I needed it for a future train build. And we've got some uh, tan pieces, something that's a mystery underneath the uh, waves, uh, so that will come in a future kind of series of builds, I think. And then we've got another packet here with some more delicate pieces in. We've got a uh, windscreen there and some more bricks. I think they're separate because they're new, but I'm just going to mix them all together. And the sticker sheet that I got with this order is this one, which is vital, absolutely vital. Uh, it's from the uh, set Leo's Room 41754. Uh, and it's not for these uh, jazzy cushions. It's not for this sort of uh, one by two sort of recipe tile. It's not for these uh, bed pieces or even the picture of the grumpy cat, though that is a very cool grumpy cat uh, chef. <laughs> I like that. No, it's for these surfboard pieces, uh, stickers rather, that I can put on. And I already had this, a lime surfboard. Uh, so that will finish off my surfboard collection. Or will it? There's probably some more that I need. Uh, with the pointy bit at that end and the other bit at that end in a sort of watermelon uh, motif. So that would be great. I can put that in my surf shop then. Uh, I think that's the last one I've got of that colour, so hopefully I don't need another one of those for a future sticker set. But that's really great. I'll look forward to sticking that on as well. Right, I am going to pause. I'm going to build me a sentinel, and then I'll get back to you. Well, here he is. Dun, dun, dun. How cool is that? Imagine two of these, one with that head and one without a head. <laughs> and there's his firing laser. That's the sort of thing I need sticking out of uh, Cyclops' head as well. And then these two fire up here and they're flick fire missiles on his back. Nice sort of grabbing hand there with fingers. Yeah, it's really nice with this detail on here. And the jets for sort of flying through the air and so on. Yeah, so ideas for an X-Man scene. That's what I need from you guys. Uh, but that is great. One more Sentinel to come, I think. But yeah, oh, and uh, Magneto to come. But otherwise, uh, the other X-Men that have been done in the past are all just uh, repetition, I think. It, there's been a few Wolverines and another Storm, but I think this is definitely the best one. What we really need is a whole Marvel Series 3, I think, just with X-Men, because there's so many cool ones. Uh, Professor Xavier, though I think I could probably make one of those. You just need a bald guy, don't you, with some sort of chair build. Maybe that yellow sort of floating chair he's got that sort of floats around. Uh, Rogue and uh, Jean Grey, uh, it'd be great. Oh, and Juggernaut. Uh, Juggernaut was all, always my favourite buddy. He's absolutely ace. <laughs> An ice man, oh, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, I think we should have a whole series of those, Lego. Please get on with that. Right, brilliant. 
I'm really happy with this haul. Very much X-Man inspired. Uh, very urgent as a result before everything ran out. And uh, you know what? Another one of these sold out as I was making an order. So it literally uh, isn't just me buying all this stuff up like it's uh, uh, going out of fashion. So uh, yeah, very happy with all of this. Very happy indeed. <laughs> Well, you can't get much more of an X-Men extravaganza in Lego than that, I can assure you. Very happy indeed with all of those builds, but I do need an idea from you as to, well, how I can deploy them using sort of skin tones in amongst all my other sort of settings. Hmm, very difficult. Uh, lots of other parts for train builds and, well, undersea builds and all sorts of other stuff. And a winking dog. I wonder what he's done. <laughs> Anyway, uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be back in the city doing a build or maybe the deep sea cabinet. Who knows? Uh, and uh, whatever we get up to, I'm sure we'll have a great deal of fun. So until then, see you. Must destroy, must eat pancakes. <laughs>